This is a lightning talk I gave about a year ago, solving Factorio with math. This is the problem in Factorio. Given some inputs and a machine that can combine those inputs into an output with certain times and input numbers and whatnot, how do I get a designated rate of output? So in this case, I've got a machine that makes science and I want 10 science per second. How many machines do I need? How much input do I need? Now for this particular example, you could probably just do some math, scribble it out and you'd figure out that you need about 40 machines to get this sort of output with 10, 10 copper per second and 20 cogs per second. But as this gets more complicated, you need a bigger tool and that bigger tool is linear programming. This provides a really neat way of solving this problem for complicated recipe chains. In linear programming, you have variables, constraints, and an objective function. So the prototypical example here that I've ripped off Wikipedia is you have your variables are how much land area do you want to spend growing one particular crop? And that's X1 and X2 is how much land area you want to spend growing a different crop. Now there are various, so those are your two variables. There are constraints. So one constraint is you've got a total amount of land area. So X1 plus X2, the total area needs to be less than some limit. The different crops require different amounts of fertilizer, but you've only got a total amount of fertilizer. So you've got F1 and F2 are constants here to represent how much fertilizer each variable takes. You've similarly, you can put a limit on pesticide and then you can't plant a negative area. So both variables need to be greater than zero. Our objective function is we want to maximize the revenue. So each crop gives us a different amount of revenue as represented by S1 and S2. And then given all of this information, you want a algorithm or a technique to maximize the value of uh, revenue. So S, X1, S2, X2. And this is a relatively well-studied area of math. For Factorio, we need to convert our problem into variables, constraints, and an objective function. So the rate at which each factory node produces, that's going to be a variable. We're also going to create synthetic consumer factories for our target rate, so that's the 10 science per second, and also supplier factories for raw materials such as the cogs and copper in our original example. Under the hood, these are just new types of factories um, and they're represented the same way as a regular recipe factory, so with another actual rate variable. Each end of a link between an input and an output is also going to be a variable. So it's going to look like this. So you can see we've got actual variables, N1, N2, N3, N4 on each factory. And then for each link between them, we've got link one output, link one input, link two output, link two input. Now with all these variables, we need to set up some constraints between them all. So our first constraint here is that the input link variable must be less than or equal to the corresponding output link variable. This says that for a factory to consume out of the input, it must have at least that amount of material available at the output. The sum of all links for a material into or out from a factory, it's mirrored, must be in proportion to the node variable. So this is saying that if the actual rate of cog production at N4 actual uh, needs to be twice whatever is being consumed out of the output. So this links the node variables to the previous constraint. And then finally, one node needs a target rate, which is typically the final consumer, uh, to say what we're trying to optimize for. So in this case, our N2 actual, which is our science, needs to be greater than or equal to 10. Our objective function is that we want to minimize all node variables. So we only want to produce as much as needed and no more. Now to put it all together, typically you'd figure out the right matrix and you'd shovel this math together and uh, these matrices can get quite big. As you can imagine, we've already got a heap of variables, but pro tip, this is all solved and wrapped up in nice little libraries that we can use. This here is Google OR tools. Uh, it's a really nice interface around a linear programming uh, library. It's also got a heap of other stuff in, in there, but we're just going to use linear programming. And this allows you to set up the variables, set up the constraints pretty much as we just defined them. And then it does all the math under the hood to solve the equation for you. You then also need some basic math to convert the solution it gives you into appropriate rates, but that's pretty straightforward.
and this is what you can do with it. So this here is Factor Factorio Layout Designer. It's uh, an app I built to do all of this. I haven't actually deployed it anywhere, so you'll have to run it locally if you're interested. Uh, it uses a web service for OR tools because it's written in JavaScript and OR tools only supports Python, C Sharp, and C++, I think, out of the box. But it totally works. It pulls recipes from Factorio Item Browser, and it's pretty neat. Some advanced stuff. Uh, a relatively typical technique in linear programming is that you can add an error variable alongside node variables, so you give it extremely high cost in the optimization function, so if, every, if there's an actual solution, it will always be zero. But if there's a partial solution available, uh, this lets the solver find it without just giving you a hard fail. The objective function that we set up only minimizes the production rate of nodes. It doesn't necessarily minimize oversupply. This is only necessary for unbalanced diamond recipe chains, such as in Uoki smelting. You won't see this in vanilla. So if you're just playing around with it, this won't come up. And loading the right set of recipes for your mod set has historically been capital C challenging. It's been very difficult to get a reliable way of doing that. Uh, Factorio item browser is now doing this right. They actually load up a Docker image with your mod set and export the items and recipes out of it. I haven't yet integrated their API properly into Factorio Layout Browser, though it's pretty close. So if you're keen, that would be an area to look into. Historically, I also put this algorithm into Foreman, which was a C-sharp desktop app for designing these recipes. It never got merged into main and main was unmaintained, and now there's a fork, and I'm not sure if my code's in the fork or not. It's all very confusing, but you can poke around there if you're interested. And I used that to create a pretty neat two rocket per minute Uoki setup, uh, which I was pretty proud of. In practice, I don't really develop this anymore. I don't really use it. Uh, Max Rate Calculator is a mod where you can just select a bunch of machines and it tells you their rate and items per machine. It's not actually solving anything for you, but based on this output, you can get pretty close to optimal just by eyeballing it. And it's much quicker than tabbing in and out of the game. So this is what I tend to use these days but it was still a fun problem to solve the math behind it. So check it out, Factorio Layout Designer, if you're interested.